It's 2 a.m. with Nathan. Matthew 19, 29. And everyone who has left houses or brothers or sisters or father or mother or wife or children or fields for my sake will receive a hundred times as much and will inherit eternal life. Have you ever wondered why God asks us to give up so much? Why do I have to give up my dreams, God? Why do I have to give up my stability? Why do I have to be willing to surrender my family? Why do I have to give up all these things I hold near and dear to myself? Is God just being mean? Is he trying to punish me for following him? Other people don't have to give this up. Why do I have to give up so much? But God isn't punishing us with this. He only asks us to give up these things so our hands are open for the much better treasure he has for us. These are weak things. They're small things. They're kind of like this little toy piano here. Now, I've played the piano for a couple of decades now. I'm no concert pianist, but I don't even think that even a concert pianist will be able to do much with these four notes. They're just four dingy little notes. And yet God says, give it to me. If you want me my disciples, surrender. And we say, no, it's mine. This is my identity. I can't give it up. I can't. This is what I do. This is what I know. And behind God's back, he has this beautiful concert concert grand piano baby grand right behind his back and he wants to give it to us but it's not until our hands are empty that we can take it he wants us to play a song much better than this one and it's the only one we can play whenever we've let this go and we've given it over to god god's not trying to punish us by asking us to give up those things we hold dear he just has much better for us and we need to trust him and his plan. You know, he's much bigger and stronger and mightier and wiser than we'll ever be. And his plans are the best. When we start to trust him, we give up that little toy piano. And he teaches us a song on a grand piano. That's amazing. C.S. Lewis talked about this in the, in the Weight of Glory and other addresses. It would seem that our Lord finds our desires not too strong but too weak. We are half-hearted creatures, fooling around with drink and sex and ambition when infinite joy is offered us. Like an ignorant child who wants to go on making mud pies in a slum because he cannot imagine what is meant by the offer of a holiday at the sea, we are far too easily pleased. So the two challenges to take with you as you go throughout the day. One, Surrender it to God. Whatever it is that he's been asking, give me that. Surrender it today. Say, you know, I'm not going to mess around with this anymore. I'm going to trust your plan more than my own plan. Here it is, God. And the other one is this. Stop (laughs) acting as if this is all we have to offer the world. Toy pianos. So many times we say, oh, yes, This is your identity. We'll embrace your identity. Oh, yes, this is your rights. These worldly rights. This is what it's about. Don't you know? We have have in Christ Jesus a much better treasure to offer. Offer that to the world around you today. And let them know, hey, listen, I'll give up my my little toy piano alongside you. And God's going to have us play a duet like the world has never heard. But we got to give up those toy pianos and see what God has next. Uh, Before I forget, if you enjoyed this, make sure you like and share it with others so that way they can enjoy it too. Have a great day.